we want to solve the system of equations and write the solution as an ordered pair. So we'll first solve this system algebraically using substitution or elimination, and then we'll verify our solution graphically. So analyzing the two equations, notice how we are not able to solve either equation for x or y in one step, it would take two steps. And therefore for this example, we'll solve this algebraically using the elimination, sometimes called the addition method. To use this method, we want to add the two equations together, but before we do this, we want either the x terms or y terms to be opposites. So then we add the equations together, either the x terms or y terms add to zero. So looking at the x terms, notice how the least common multiple of five and seven would be 35. So to eliminate the x terms, you'd have to multiply the first equation by five and the second equation by seven in order to make the x terms opposites. But if we look at the y terms, Notice how the least common multiple of two and six would be six, and because the y term here is already negative six or minus six, we can eliminate the y terms by multiplying just the second equation by three, which would give us a plus six y here. So for this example, we'll eliminate the y terms. So starting with the two equations, we're going to leave the first equation the same. So we'd have seven x minus six y equals 12, but for the second equation, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by positive three, which again will give us a plus six y here. So negative five x times three would be negative 15 x. Three times two y is six y, so plus six y equals, on the right side, negative 20 times three would equal negative 60. And now we'll add the two equations together. And notice when we do this, the y terms are opposites, so they would sum to zero. So now we have seven x minus 15 x, or if we want seven x plus negative 15 x, which would give us negative eight x equals, on the right side we have 12 plus negative 60, or 12 minus 60, which equals negative 48. And now we divide both sides by negative eight. And notice how we have x equals positive six. So remember we're asked to give the solution as an ordered pair, so we know for our solution, the first value of the ordered pair is going to be x, which we now know is six. And now to find the second value with the value of y, we need to substitute six for x in either the first or second equation and then solve for y. And let's go ahead and use the second equation. So we have negative five x plus two y equals negative 20. But now we know that x equals six. So let's substitute six for x here and this will allow us to solve for y. We'd have negative five times six plus two y equals negative 20. So simplifying, we have negative 30 plus two y equals negative 20. Here we would add 30 to both sides. Simplifying, we have two y equals negative 20 plus 30 is 10, dividing both sides by two. And we have y equals 10 divided by two is five. So the second value of an ordered pair, or y, equals five. And therefore our solution is the ordered pair six comma five, which means this ordered pair would satisfy both linear equations. And let's go ahead and take the time to verify this algebraically as well as graphically. To verify this algebraically, we'll substitute six for x and five for y into both equations. So for the first equation, we would have seven times six minus six times five equals 12. So we'd have 42 minus 30 equals 12. 42 minus 30 is 12. 12 equals 12 is true. So the first ordered pair satisfies the first equation. And now for our second equation, we have negative five x plus two y equals negative 20. So we'd have negative five times six plus two times five equals negative 20. So we have negative 30 plus 10 equals negative 20. Negative three plus 10 is negative 20. And this is true. Verifying the ordered pair also satisfies the second equation, verifying that our solution is correct. Now we can also verify this graphically because this ordered pair is the solution to the system, that means if we graph these two linear equations, the two lines should intersect in the point six comma five. In the same time, I've already graphed these. These two lines are the graphs of the two given equations. 
And notice how the point of intersection is here, where the ordered pair for this point of intersection is 6, 5, the solution to our system. I hope you found this helpful.